Hi, folks. My name is Danielle Padula, and I've been a student at Greenville Tech um, for about five years now. I started when my daughter was going into kindergarten, and I started at ground zero. Um, I had been a student at James Madison University um, and was going towards a degree and a major in um, boys. Um, but once I became a mother, um, reality set in. <laughs> and we moved down to South Carolina, and you've got to find a job, and you've got to raise your child. And I found that nursing was definitely a calling. Um, I had worked at a nursing home as an accountant and realized that it was something that I definitely wanted to do. And I chose Greenville Tech because their slogan is, it's the college that works. Um, and it certainly is, and enabled me to raise my daughter, to be there when she would go to school in the morning, and to be there when she got off the bus. Um, and I was able to go forward and start from ground zero. Um, I started at Math 101, Bio 101, and I worked my up, way up into advanced probability and statistics, organic chemistry, microbiology, all of the things necessary to go into nursing school. And through all of that, I was able to ma maintain a 4.0, and I was very glad to do so. I met extremely talented um, and driven teachers that encouraged me and challenged me not to give up. And I cannot thank you enough as a school, um, the president, you in particular, and all of the staff that works at Greenville Tech, you have changed my life. I can go into any hospital room, I can go to the scene of an accident, and I have, my husband and I have both. This is Matt Padula, my husband. He worked with the Greenville County Sheriff for two, um, Sheriff's Office for two years. Um, we come on the scene of accidents. I can go on the scene of accident and take someone's blood pressure, check their pulse, figure out if they're hemorrhaging inside, and there's so many things that I've learned from Greenville Tech, the skills that you have given me as a, as a college that I, I cannot part with as a human being. I feel like a greater person for being a student at Greenville Tech. Also, the students that I've met at Greenville Tech, I want to, the donors to understand that these are people that don't have a lot sometimes. These are single mothers who have children. They're working, they're working two jobs sometimes and going to school. And sometimes we don't always know how we're gonna have the funds to make it to school, um, as far as gas money, as far as going out to lunch. Um, and we have to carry our lunch to school. And it's hard, but it's worth it. And everything you do as donors greatly impacts our lives. Um, I got the scholarship from Dr. Rosenberg for $1,000. And to the wife of a Greenville County Sheriff's deputy, that to me was more like $500,000. I literally called my mom on the phone crying, said, guess what? You know, you would not believe we have been so blessed. We have been so blessed. God is so good. And um, I, I just had to write him a letter and thank him from the bottom of my heart because I knew we could use that money. My husband knew that he wanted to continue his ed education as well. He needed to go to Greenville Tech to do so. Um, he was going for criminal justice classes and we needed him to go online. He didn't have the time to go to class. So he was able to um, purchase a laptop. We were gonna use that money to purchase a laptop so he could go to class online at the same time working and providing for Haley and I. So I wrote Dr. Rosenberg a letter stating, sir, thank you so much. We are so blessed. We are going to be investing in a laptop computer so he can go to school online. And not, uh, it did not take time at all. He actually had someone call me from the foundation to let me know that he wanted to donate a laptop on top of the $1,000 scholarship. He greatly exceeded our expectations. He answered the call. And those of you tonight that are donating to Greenville Tech are doing so, so greatly, and I appreciate that so much. I've talked to other nursing students that are struggling, and I've educated them that this program is there for us, and give it a shot. They will find a way to help you because they are giving people. But I'd like to hand the microphone over to my husband, Matthew, so that he can explain to you what it meant to us as well. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for the warm reception, Mr. Howard and Dr. Miller. This is a, a wonderful event that uh, we didn't expect tonight. Um, what Dr. Miller was saying earlier, the challenges of, challenges of today's student, I think my wife and I are probably the poster children for challenged students with a family and a full-time job and career. And I just wanted to say that Greenville Tech, especially the 
the online program for me as a, a deputy sheriff working the crazy hours and always tired and stressed out was very convenient. Uh, the professors online were very professional, very helpful. And when I received the laptop from Danielle's hard work, uh, I didn't have the words to, 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 say, to thank Dr. Rosenberg and what it meant. Um, you know, on, on my salary, I couldn't afford to buy a laptop. We had a laptop that was probably 10 years old. And it broke down it, the week after it, we got it, the new laptop. Yeah. So <laughs> I won't take up much more time, but I just wanted to personally say thank you to all of you. And uh, Greenville Tech has been a wonderful experience for both of us. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. One of the real pleasures of my job is being able to hear so many stories like that because there are so many students like that at Greenville Tech working to improve themselves, improve their lives, improve our community, and just become better people. It's just a very, very enriching experience to be around them. I want to thank all of you for making it happen. I want to ask one other group to please stand up with the staff of the Greenville Tech Foundation.